Hello again. Welcome to the video. And I'm just gonna start off the video with a spoiler for some of the following images and or figures. Before we get started, I want to give you a little brief uh, look at of what might be in the future. And I'm saying the future, I can't say the next video or five from now because I don't know when it's going to happen. Depends when they ship, but I happen to have two of them right in front of me. Let me just show you. Something you've never seen before. Thought never existed. As you can see here, this is obviously um, comes from the Build-A-Figure model. And you got that right, that is Deadpool right there. You can see his head right there. The light stops shining on it. Um, yeah, there you can see it. Like, right there and I got Iron Man Tony Stark whichever one you want to call it oh by the way I just want to show you the, the, over here the head's interchangeable it comes with his head and his helmet that's cool it's probably in there somewhere I have not opened the edge of these I'm waiting to do a review on them because I'm just gonna put these back Because there's going to be other ones um, still need to arrive. But there's a Thanos, there's a Black Panther, there's a Captain America, there's a Thor. There is an Iron Spider, and there's also an inspired Iron Spider. I mean, comic book inspired Iron Spider. I believe there's also Miles Morales, and they do have Spider-Man. I can't guarantee that I'm going to have all of those, but... I will have Black Panther, Thanos, Iron Spider, and what was the other one? Anyways, you'll you'll just see it. Um, oh right, they also have a Groot, and I got the Groot. Just gotta wait for those. Um, those are the only ones that were available to purchase. Um, the other ones, like I, uh, the Iron Spider, Inspired Iron Spider, um, Captain America, no, Captain America was there, um, I didn't, I just didn't get that one yet, I don't think, maybe I did, I can't remember, um, you'll just see it in the, in the video, I don't want to drag this on too much, alright, first we have the Iron Patriot Hulkbuster, Pretty cool, not in the movies, but I believe in the comics, and that is an interesting custom. Alright, here is the Iron Patriot Buster. That's what I'm calling it anyways, because that's what it looks like. Um, I thought it was cool at first, but um, there's like some paint on here. I mean, like, literally you can see the paint. Bring it close up. See that blue? It's into some paint scratches. There's actual paint on here, like, like blotches. I'm like, you can tell how custom painted this is. Uh, yeah, so some things are missing on it. Yeah, then this one's uh, no for me. I'm gonna probably try and sell it if I can. <laughs> there is one, however, cool feature to it, despite. Ugh, the quality. I'm so sorry, but, um, it is China, so I guess I got what I paid for it. But don't, but don't worry, not all, everything from China is really bad. You just gotta be careful what you get. <laughs> Me in my case. But anyways, they have, like, a little stud for you to put, um, minifigure uh, heads on here, so that's pretty cool. As you see, I could put, I put, uh, Iron Man's head there. That's the, that's a little stub whatever it uh, comes with it's a double-sided head so i'm just gonna for show and then that goes on like that and that's pretty cool i like that but still it's a no for me
Also, I thought I ordered the Iron Patriot. No, sorry. Uh, the the regular original Hulk Buster. I didn't think I got. There was a War Machine one. There was an Iron Patriot one. And there was a Hulk Buster. But I thought I just got the Hulk Buster. I got the Iron Patriot. That's fine. Whatever. Avengers Endgame Iron Man Hulk Buster. That's what I'm gonna call this. Cause um, this is in. End game, but I believe it's not really to scale, so yeah. I don't know what to think of this, but let's see what I think of it uh, as I open it right now. Here's the end game Iron Man Buster. That's what I'm gonna call it. Yeah, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet right there. His own Infinity Gauntlet. He made it himself. And you can also, his visor flips up, wait, hang on, come on, his visor flips up, and it goes down like that, or you can just like flick it, maybe, sometimes it works, come on, Iron Man wants to be a pain today, okay, whatever, who can, I don't know why, but this back part comes out too. It's like a nice exoskeleton. I don't even think that's really important and or um a feature, but I kind of like it for some reason. This is like the back part. This is two pieces and it comes with two bags. Um Here's the um, Hulk Buster. It's a different alteration and variation of the Hulk Buster. I thought your helmet went up and down. Okay, I think there's a feature that I'm going to find out later. We're all going to find out. Here's the arms, and I believe Bruce Banner comes in there. This is from Infinity War. Oh, well, that's definitely Bruce Banner. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to have this as set in stone or not. Haha. <laughs> Infinity Stone, Avengers, uh, reference anyways, um, <laughs> but I think this is the most coolest thing I've ever seen before, okay, this goes up, you can see the little tiny studs down there, and just, I don't know why, but this Hulk Buster looks so cool, I don't know what it is, like, I feel like this is something that, that's like, that could be in a Happy Meal or something, um, I don't know why, like, I mean, I'm not, like, going against Hot, or Hot Wheel toys, um, McDonald's toys, but it's, like, one of those, like, cheap kind of things, but are still kind of fun to just mess around with. Anyways, I'm just gonna put, uh, Brucey in here, because I got little studs at the bottom, you can fit them in. There he is, he's in there. That's pretty cool, and just put that on right there, and boom. That's nice. I don't know, I just, I just enjoy this. Like, it has that kind of, like, anime style, but, like, anime and Avengers? I don't know why. I feel like this is some kind of anime toy. Uh, I just love that, like, that, that freaking helmet go up and down. It's like, it's like, freaking erotic or something. I can't explain it. It's weird. And honestly, it's weird that I said that, but I, I'm not taking that back because that's kind of how I feel about it. <laughs> um, so, this thing's pretty cool. I I don't want to waste my time with how much I think that's awesome, but um, before I run out of time, and just so I can get things going, I'm going to move on to the next figure. There's two uh, variations of uh, the Quantum Realm suit Hulk. Here's, here's him in this, like, white quantum realm, and here's him in this, like, uh, I'll just open them both up and show you. I was gonna do them separately, but I'm just gonna do them all together. Yeah, he has, like, silver, kind of dark grayish looking. You'll see. Here's the, um, first, uh, alteration, I guess. I don't know if it's the word alteration, but, um. Yeah, this is um the first model 
right? There's different um, kinds of models of uh, Quantum Realm Hulk. This one, he doesn't have, um, like, his feet. I mean, he has feet, but his feet aren't sticking through or anything. Also, I don't know why, but his head does not come off. <laughs> I don't know why I just like them when their heads come off. The other Hulk, I think, was pretty close accurate to how he was in the movie. This? I'm not even too sure, but it's pretty cool. I like, I still like the model to it. Very good, very good. His feet are actually poking through that time. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to show you. That this one, they have like little red gauntlets or whatever, or something going over his hands. These don't. They're just hands. Green hands. Oh yeah, I like this because the hair comes off and the head comes off. I don't know why. I just like them better that way. I just think that with the thing with the heads and... It gives them more in, uh, playability and interaction with um, the pieces and the um, taking apart. It's like building a 3D puzzle or something. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Instead of just building a floor puzzle, it's more exciting because it's like a 3D puzzle. Like, oh man, it's just, you know how 3D puzzles are. They're fun to build and stuff. So, um,. Got right here an Endgame Thanos. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I like that. Can't wait to open up and build this. Obviously, I see he has two golden gloves, which I don't really think that's accurate, but uh, that's just something I might just deal with. Or maybe I'll steal a, one of the other hands and. I don't know. I'll probably just like steal off a purple hand or something and give it to Thanos. I'll, I'll find a way. I also realize his head's dark purple and his hands are kind of like a turquoise pinkish. Oh, and there's some discoloration there. His, his um arm is painted a little gold for some reason on the top, where which that's his skin, so eh, I'll think about this one. Here is Endgame Thanos. Um... Not very, uh, you can't really play with it too much. The helmet and head comes off. Sure, the gauntlet's there, but I don't know why he has another golden arm. I mean, that's not right. That's not in the movie, is it? He has a, his whole arm was, like, pink or turquoise or whatever. But anyways, uh, if you look here, there's a little... Nah, the paint job wasn't done the best right there. Not very movable either, too much, because um, this, this golden armor here kind of blocks it. That's one piece, by the way. The helmet does come off. It's a pretty cool helmet. I like that helmet. I don't know why I'm showing you the helmet. It just looks freaking awesome. That's why I'm showing you. The head comes off, too. I like the other feature. I mean, this might be something I want to, like, play around with on, like, um when I'm on the road or something. Maybe you want to like put up um you um do like a models or something you like to display in your room like I do. <laughs> I might nah I'm not gonna show you those. I mean they're cool and all but whatever. You don't need to see them. I mean they're not like that cool but I think they are but some people might think they're not but whatever anyways that defeats the purpose of the video anyways. Also there's some Bottom of Thanos' shoes, there's little paint problems down there. Silver, where it's not supposed to be. I don't know why it's even silver down there, it's just weird. Anyways, um, this will be fun for the road, maybe to put on like a mantle, I mean like where people can like see it, but for playability, there's not a lot of movement. Um... I don't know. This, there's not a lot of movement. Not really too accurate. But yeah, you could probably put on your mantle. Get, try and get away with that somehow. Here is Korg. Uh, 
Um, from Endgame and Thor Ragnarok. I can't hold it the other way, or this will happen. I know I accidentally um started opening it before showed you, but yeah, this, this figure really looks pretty cool. So let me pause the video and and uh oh. Oh no, that's, that's fine. That actually looks pretty nice. Anyways, let me just build it. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to have a few extra pieces. But, um, Korg came with a weapon, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to put it together. I don't even know if I put it together right, but I'm just showing it for show. Anyways, um, he comes with this material that feels like rock. That's what he's made out of, of course, so... That's quite accurate, but I feel like it's, it feels like it's coming off of my hands. Like, it feels like dry clay or something. I can't even put my finger on it. I can't even put my fingers on it. This feels weird. It's like, it's like cool, but it's weird at the same time. Um. Yeah, it feels like. Wait, what's this? I don't know, but it feels like. Like clay uh, thrown in a kiln, and then that's just it. But I don't think this is made of clay. No, that's not clay. Yeah, that material is not clay. I don't know what this is some super plastic or something. We're going to move on to the next figure. Next thing, the figure is Thanos. This might be, um, I think it's Infinity War Thanos, that's what it is. Or retired Thanos, I don't know, we'll find out. And here we are, the last figure. Thanos. Leave from Infinity War. Yeah, there's that little paint mark right there. I don't know if it's paint or what. But it's right there. It's like freaking huge. It's really big. It's right there. A little black dot or smear thing, whatever the thing is. Um I like the figure though, the hel the helmet. The head comes off. Um Arms come off too. It looks highly detail um oriented and or um uh accurate to the movie. And the arms go three sixty, that's what I like. I think these are pretty cool figures to review. I will figure out how to build Korg later and the the right way. <laughs> and I uh so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.